Hi everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is Prophetess Nikki with another video for you today. And today on this video, we're going to briefly discuss about the open door and the shut door. Everybody, anybody, you, myself, we can all praise God. We can worship God when that door is open. But what do you do when God shuts a door in your life? What do you do? How do you know if God has shut a door, if you've shut your own door in your own life? If you fasted, if you pray, if you've given, if you've done sacrificial offerings, if you've done everything that you know how to do and that door remains closed, that's God letting you know that he has shut that door. He said in his word, I will shut a door that no man can open. He said, and I will open a door that no man can close. In this season, God is shutting doors that need to be closed. And he's opening doors that need to be opened. God is moving you in a greater dimension. God is placing you in places and positions and promotions that you have even imagined. You can't even think. You can't even fathom. So you're going to have to trust God in this season of the shut door. This is the season of the shut door. He didn't shut it because he didn't love you. God heard things that you didn't hear. God heard conversations about you that you didn't hear. God seen things that you didn't see. Yes. God had to shut some things down. And you're going to thank God later in your life. Maybe not today because you don't understand. But I'm here prophetically, prophetically to tell you today. If God shut this door in your life embrace it. Embrace the shut door because it is for your good because God has greater for you. Receive that today in the name of Yahshua. God has greater for you. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. You trust God because God can be trusted. His track record is amazing. You can trust your God. You can trust your heavenly father. If God said something to you, he'll do it. If he made a promise to you, it'll, it'll come to pass. He's not going to change his mind. He's not going to tell you, I'm going to bless you today and curse you tomorrow. Not God, not my father, not your father. Trust God. Even in the season of the shut door that you are facing right now, you're facing a season of shut doors. When you move to the right, the door is shut. When you move to the left, the door is shut. No matter what you do, you're, you're hitting some resistance. You're hitting opposition. And you're hitting this opposition because you're in spiritual warfare. The enemy knows what's next for you. He can't stop it, but he can slow it down. So I come to encourage you today. You embrace the closed door in your life. Trust God with the closed door because I'm going to tell you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, what God has prepared for you. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither had it entered into the heart of man. The things that God Almighty Yahweh has prepared for you because he loved you. You trust God. You trust God in this season because he's going to prove to you who he really is. Sometimes we have to get in a mess before we can really, really know what kind of God we serve. If you never got sick, how do you know God is a healer? If you never was broken, need any money, if you if you didn't never have any lack in your life, how would you know that God was a provider? How would you know that he is ill? Elyon, the most high God. He was Jehovah Jireh. He's to Jehovah to sit canoe. God is all that and more. So let God prove himself to you tonight, people. Let God prove himself tonight and you receive the shut door. The shut door is a blessing to you. Whatever God shuts, it's a blessing to you. God shut things down because he saw. He saw the attacks. He saw the enemy. He saw the plots. He saw the plans. He, he saw the schemes. He saw the deception. He saw the manipulation. And because you are his child and because he loved you so much, God said, not so. Not my child today, Satan. Not so. And God is going to deal with your enemies. You hear me tonight on the sound of the almighty God. God is going to deal with your enemies in this season. They're going to wish to God 
that they never touched you. Your enemies are going to wish that they never spoke an evil word against you. It doesn't matter any spell, any jinx, any hex that the devil may try. Glory to God. It's going to be returned to sender in the name of Yeshua, Hama Mashiach. It will not prosper. Glory to God. Thank God for the shut door in your life. Give him praise and give him glory. Until next time.